So today is Wednesday the 22nd of August and I just got back from a weekend spent in the forest in North Yorkshire. Currently in a hammock in the woods. Um, I'm here at an event called Wide Open uh, which is a weekend retreat for Christian creatives. As you know Set Sail's tagline is where faith meets art and as soon as I heard about this event I'm like I'm going. I'm there. It's something I've been thinking a lot about myself because obviously we have these videos and we have this whole Set Sail ministry which exists to equip, encourage and inspire artists and creators around the world to make Jesus known through the things that they create. And so we do that through our videos on our website and Instagram and all that kind of stuff. But I've been trying to think more about how do we do that in a physical way? Like is there ways that we could run workshops, maybe tie things into when we go on tour with the band, we could do like Set Sail events at the same time. and kind of do something to kind of gather creative people and pray together and spend time together and encourage one another and um, going to this event really solidified that for me because I realized like there is so much value in doing this and to be able to learn from one another and share things, pray for each other, worship together, it's just such a special thing and so it's really got my cogs turning now of what that would look like to run physical like set sail events um, and I guess watch this space and uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so I had the opportunity to go down and share some of my story and my journey of getting to the point that I'm at now being in a band and a designer and running this thing called set sail and then running a workshop on handmade collage and I also shared a little bit about why I think it's important to empower artists in the church and I kind of wanted to take that little portion of the talk that I did and share it in video format today. Uh, if you're interested in hearing the full talk, I'm going to try and upload that somewhere, so uh, I'll maybe post in the comments or in the description of this video to watch the whole thing. So these are the kind of three reasons that I came up with for why I'm passionate about encouraging and equipping and inspiring artists and creators specifically. Reason number one, I believe that art is a very powerful language and this is something we talk a lot about with the guys at Set Sail. the fact that Art is just a really special way of communicating truth and communicating some kind of message because I'm sure, like me, you've probably got experiences where a song or a film or some kind of creative thing has impacted you in a way that's really helped you to understand something and see something in a new way. I know it's kind of the cliche thing to say when we talk about music being the universal language, but I think it's true and I think it's true of more than just music. I think it's true of design and filmmaking and all these different art forms and creative expressions. There's something about the way that you can communicate something in a creative way that engages like the mind but also your heart and your emotions and just everything that's going on. I know one of my favorite preachers often jokes about the fact that he could spend like an hour to an hour and a half talking about this subject and trying to unpack it in great detail and then the worship team can get up and sing one song for like three minutes and all of a sudden the whole room's engaged in singing about this truth and uh, it helps them to remember it and they're all just like lost in this moment and it's kind of joking but it is true like there's something about a song or a piece of art that can communicate something like that in a powerful way. Reason number two is I believe that everyone sees a different side of God's face. There's a guy called A.W. Tozer in his book Knowledge of the Holy who talks about the fact that God is completely outside the human mind like no person can fully fit all that God is inside of our minds. The cool thing about that is that there is not one person that knows everything there is to know about God and God has revealed himself in so many different ways to so many different people which is amazing because it means that we need each other to get this complete full picture of God and the revelation that I've had of God may be different to you in the sense of like it's still the same God but I may have seen something about God's faithfulness through something that's happened in my life and you may have a revelation of his mercy or his kindness or his holiness or all these different attributes of who he is and we need each other to share those things. We need to hear your experience of God and the way that he's revealed himself to you. And as artists and creators, it's so easy to discount yourself and go, oh, there's already better songwriters out there or people are making better films and that may be true, but no one can do it in the way that you can. No one can write the songs that you can write. No one can paint the way you can paint. You bring something unique, not only to your artwork, but to your experience of God and the way that he's revealed himself to you. So. Never discount yourself as an artist or a creator. We need to hear your voice and we need to hear your expression of who God is because it helps the church as a whole get a more complete picture of who he is. And thirdly, I believe that artists can prepare the way. And this gets a little bit deep and theological, but Isaiah 40 is one of my favorite passages and it's this prophecy in the book of Isaiah about John the Baptist. It talks about this voice crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. And it talks about this way being made straight that reveals the glory of God. And when I look at the life of John the Baptist, I see this guy who lived a completely radical life and his whole 
purpose and reason for existing was to point people to Jesus. Everything that he did, he was just preaching about this coming Messiah. And then when Jesus did show up on the scene, he was like, here's the guy I've been telling you all about. And he just pointed people straight to Jesus. And I think that's a beautiful reflection of what artists can be and what the life of an artist can look like. Like we can actually point people to the person of Jesus through the things that we create in a way that prepares them to receive him and to receive that revelation. And I mean that in two ways, like in the metaphorical way, people that don't know Jesus yet or have never heard the gospel, something that we create and pieces of artwork or music and all that kind of stuff, it can prepare the way in somebody's heart for the glory of God to be revealed to them and for them to receive Jesus. And also in the very real sense, like through the story of the Bible, we see like Jesus is coming back and there is this eternal plan that Jesus is going to come back to earth one day and rule and reign right here and that's an exciting thing and that's something that we're looking forward to as Christians in the same way there was John the Baptist preparing the way for Jesus the first time maybe there's going to be a whole generation of John the Baptist type people just pointing people to Jesus and living all out just to declare who he is and reveal him to the world and I think that artists and creators are going to be such a powerful voice in that to communicate something of who Jesus is and uh, prepare the way for the coming of Jesus which is Pretty awesome. But anyway, there's like a condensed version of my talk and uh, the whole wide open weekend was just amazing. Thank you to Beth for hosting that and for inviting us along. I just came back so refreshed and inspired because it's good to spend time with other creative people. And one of the things I realized from that weekend is like so many people, especially in the creative world, like you get freelancers and people are just working at home. And a lot of people feel kind of isolated in what they're doing. And they're like, are there any other Christian creative people out there and how can I meet these people and connect with these people. Just having time to like pray together and chat around a campfire and have conversations with other people who are involved in all kinds of creative work was just so valuable. And a quick plug for everyone else that was doing workshops over the weekend, there was Lauren who runs an Instagram account called Lauren Inc. Does this incredible calligraphy, lettering, illustration type stuff and also makes handmade paper out of t-shirt pulp, which I didn't even know was a thing. She did an amazing session on why we create and talking a little bit about how to know that your creativity is valid when you're doubting yourself. Uh, we did this huge piece of paper and splattered ink and all these different colours on and then at the end kind of peeled off this lettering in the middle and it created this amazing canvas thing that just looked awesome and we also did like more individual ones where you could just use ink and paint and make things on this handmade paper that was just amazing. There was a session from a guy called Mark Musgrave who runs a thing called The Level Collective which is like an outdoorsy clothing brand thing but they also make like backpacks and axes and knives and just all this amazing like outdoorsy kind of stuff which is just super cool. He also runs a thing called Printed By Us where they help people struggling with homelessness and other issues to come in and get employment through screen printing the work of artists that a lot of the time they get to go and sell and just feel that kind of empowerment and self-worth in like I made this thing and people actually want to buy it and it's way more empowering to them than just being given handouts on the street. And he led a workshop afterwards on lino cut so we had these pieces of lino and we cut them out with a knife and you create this kind of template that you can roll ink onto and put it onto a piece of paper. Uh, so I made this thing, uh, created to create, uh, one of my favourite kind of phrases, I've been using it as my Instagram bio for the last year or so, uh, and I actually made a bunch of these, so um, I'm going to do a giveaway. If you want to share this video or another set sale video, any kind of video that maybe encouraged you or inspired you in some way, share it on social media and make sure you tag us at we are set sale and I'll pick a bunch of you guys to send a free one of these out. Um, also Lucy Grimble was there, an amazing worship leader, we've featured her in an interview on this channel a while back and she was leading some of the worship there and did a kind of Q&A session on one of the mornings just again about her story and her journey of um, how she began leading worship. That was amazing, the whole weekend was amazing and I'm sure it'll be on again next year so make sure you check out the Wide Open website and Instagram and uh, also wherever you are in the world uh, maybe one day we'll get to come over there and do a set sale event. Um, we're kind of exploring what that means right now, open to ideas, if you want to send us an email and send us some suggestions, we'd love to hear. What kind of workshops would you like to hear, what kind of things would you think would be helpful at an event like that? And um, I feel like I'm rambling a bit now, so I'm going to stop. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you found it encouraging and helpful in some way, and uh, we'll be back with another video very soon. See you later. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. We just wanted to give you a quick announcement about a tour that we have coming up soon. Yeah, so we're going to be in the UK between the 26th and the 30th. And then after that, we'll be over in Amsterdam and some dates in Germany as well. So if you're around, we would love to hang out, uh, get a ticket, and we'd love to say hi to you if you're there. So yeah. 
Yeah, and also we'll be adding more dates on the website as well, so keep an eye out for that. You can follow us on Instagram and all that stuff. We'll be posting stuff on there as well. So Yeah, riversandrobots.com forward slash tour. And at Rivers and Robots. Boom. See you there, hopefully. Adios. See you there. Set sail, video blog. Set sail, video blog. It's a video, it's a blog as well. Set sail.